Welcome back. You're now on the Entrepreneur Spotlight on the weekend show. Every day, new building materials are being discovered or invented. New buildings are being erected with designs ranging from regular square houses to jaw-dropping, irregularly shaped edifices with optical designs that take your breath away. But how did it begin? When did they come to use? And what are the intricacies of building construction and how far has modern day architecture developed from ancient times? These and more we will be discussing on today's episode of the Entrepreneur Spotlight. And on that note, we have the delectable Mrs. Oluwatosin Damilari Adebisi of Row 14 Construction Company. Thank you Good for morning. Welcome here. to the Good weekend morning. show. Good morning. So can you tell us about Row 14 Construction in a nutshell? What products and services do you render and what is the priority of your company? Thank you for that question. Row 14 is um, a real estate con company. We are situated at um, number five, Selinan Iron St Street, Kado. And um, we have our Instagram handle. Let me start with that by, by selling our products. Okay. <laughs> we have our Instagram handle, row14.ng. Then our website, www.row14.com. Then to our products and services, we are into Tolkien's project. That's from start to finish. We build, we design, and we execute. Okay. So that's what the 14 is all about. And also, our priority is creativity and affordable luxuries. Like we want to give our clients something that will fascinate them. Anybody that come in touch with that, we see that, yeah, that there is something to wow them. So that's what Rule 14 is all about. Amazing, amazing stuff. So um, what um, does Rule 14 offer in terms of innovation and redesigning regular spaces? For instance, what makes um, Rule 14 stand out from other construction and redesigning businesses we have in the market? Okay, what makes Rule 14 stand out is that we don't do the all uh, one size fits all like we don't do what is what we see in this building we put here we put there there is every project has its own uniqueness so that's what room 14 is all about we bring new and fresh ideas to the table to like every project has its own uniqueness that's one thing about room 14. we bring um, affordable luxuries we, we we work with class and we work with um, professional teams in the companies. We have the actors, the engineer, and whatever you. Then we're talking about our, our uh, what's it called, relationship with the clients. It's, we have a very good relationship with clients, and that's our, our staffs, indirect staff and direct staff. So that's, that's what I can say about um, that. Amazing. Yeah. So you, you talked about original designs. So you, you make like bespoke designs yeah. for all of your yes. um, construction. Yeah. So that brings me to my next question okay. now. What is the biggest challenge in running a construction business in modern times? For instance, like you said, you have original designs. Do you ever um, get into situations where a client is telling you about a design from their imagination yeah. that is so wild that you don't even know where to start from? So what is your biggest challenge in the construction business in modern times? Um, actually, I would say our uh, number one um, challenge in in construction is that of the infl inflation in market price. Because when we go for su market survey, going back to the clients, maybe when the client is going to like, I'm ready for this project, then maybe it might be like a Prices month, have increased. a month mm -hmm. before then. Then going back, it's that's one of our challenge, and. Some of our challenges are with uh, maybe, a maybe at the mid or at the towards the end of the project, the, the clients want a very like instant change, and that change might cost you know time, extra. money, and extra. So with time, we be able to manage that because at the end of okay, at the end of the pay, it's not be like the client will like be like he doesn't want to maybe he forgot that we we actually did some extra change to that. So you won't want to like implement the payment of what we actually did because of extra cost. So what we did was to have an agreement for that. Any changes, we have an agreement in any phases of the project. We have an agreement for that. Another challenge is that of the artisans. We, and they are unreliable and stuff like that. So with time, we've able to build a team that we can 
that we can um, like act on, call on at any time without disappointing. Amazing. Solid team. Solid so like team, you yeah. said, you're, you're selling your brand right now. Yeah. There's a lot of... Um, Homeowner, aspiring homeowners, current homeowners who want to renovate, um, construction workers, and all yeah. the rest watching right now. So, can you briefly tell us in a nutshell why we should choose Go Fourteen, 14. NG? Okay, why you guys out there watching to choose Row Fourteen NG is because we give an excellent job. We give luxury, affordable luxury, not just luxury. You can afford the luxury that you want. So we give that luxury. We give excellent job. We are trustworthy. We are trustworthy. And we actually also give modern architecture, like what is in vogue. But we are not copying the so-called what you see here. Is no, you are going to have it's it in a unique. Exactly. It's not a copy and paste. You're going to have the uniqueness of that project because every project is unique. So amazing, I mean, yeah. amazing stuff. Thank you so much Thank for coming you. on the video show. As you can see, some slides <laughs> of your work is yes. on the screen. And they Thank look you. Really, really Beautiful. Good. Thank you for coming on the weekend show. We hope to see more of you on some Thank you so much. Thank you. So we'll take a short break, and I'll be right back with our guests from the Emerging Entrepreneurs Summit. Stay tuned to the weekend show. Back, we now have our guest, Mr. Eberichi Marcus, the president of the Emerging entrepreneurs on the weekend show good morning welcome to the weekend show good morning so can you tell us about all about the emerging entrepreneur summit what is it about and when is it holding the emerging entrepreneur summit and award is an annual event that offers young and emerging entrepreneurs opportunities to leverage um, capacity building um, it's a platform that brings together captains of industry policy makers um, people in the msme sector and they all, we all come together, dialogue, understand, and leverage opportunities, resources, talents, and all that. It also gives opportunity for capacity building, uh, training, uh, uh, skills, hands-on, and all that, vocational skills. Um, at the end is, at every year's summit, the purpose and the uh, core objective is that we should be able to increase job creation as well as wealth creation. That's mm. what the summit is all about. Brilliant. So you said it's an annual summit? Yeah. So for how many years have you been running this? Um, this is the sixth edition of the annual Money Entrepreneurs. So six years now? Yes, this is the sixth edition. Amazing. So the current um, summit for this year, when is the date, venue, and when is it happening? Um, the summit, um, like in all these years, we've had the summit in partnership with Raw Material Site Development Council. Um, we also have had it, we've had other technical partners um, who have supported the summit over the years and um, this year is going to hold at the Raw Material Site Development Council Meitama and it's going to be on the 10th to 11th of November and um, by God's grace it's also going to be an opportunity for us to recognize very distinguished Nigerians entrepreneurs who have um, either contributed in one way or the other towards enhancing the opportunities of emerging entrepreneurs uh, or those who have uh, made excellent achievements so that they can also inspire uh, people who are yet to uh, get what they should get. Because in Nigeria, we strongly believe that Nigeria is a land blessed with so many job opportunities, but the exposure to how to create such jobs are not always available. And that's what the summit offers. And we want to believe that participants who attend the summit, at the end of the summit, We'll be glad they did because they would have gained opportunities to learn um, things like mushroom production, um, marketing, shea butter production and marketing, entrepreneurship fundamentals. And they also have a privilege of gaining certificates in financial literacy, uh, supported by GIZ and Afut Mina, and other entrepreneurship training uh, opportunities and coaching. Amazing stuff. Yeah. So you, you mentioned something about speakers coming on the summit. Can you drop some names of all the speakers we're looking forward to um, meeting on the summit? Um, by God's grace, the keynote speaker is um, uh, Lion Jide, uh, Shwaji Jide Bello. Um, he's a renowned Nigerian. He's the um, governor of uh, Lions Club here in FCT. Um, doing well in, in entrepreneurship. He will be there to inspire people. FIFA Banks too will be there. And um, we'll also be having um, Missy Formago, 
we are having General Yakub Usman, um, we are having Dr. Allah Daisin, I know. These are people who have made great marks in the other scene. And the, chair, the summit will be properly chaired by Honorable Uche Agu, who is also an excellent man in business. So it's an opportunity that every young person, someone, if you have a job or you don't have a job, it's an opportunity you must not miss. And it's happening on the 10th to 11th here in Abuja at the Roma Church at Dolman Council Metama. And we strongly believe that as people continue to leverage these opportunities, the result that we have always had over the years will, will still be the testament this time around. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much for coming on the weekend show. Thank you very much. To see more subsequent episodes. God bless you. Thank and there you have it, people. Mr. Iberichi Marcus, the president of Emerging Entrepreneurs. Speaking about the Emerging Entrepreneurs Summit, holding on the 10th and 11th of November. 2022. Well, it's a wrap on the Entrepreneur Spotlight on the weekend show, but don't go anywhere. We still have politics, sports, and entertainment coming up right after the short break. I'm